New York women uh, are seeing that doctors in New York are seeing a plethora, a preponderance, a, a, a wave of women showing up to get their Brazilian butt lifts sucked mm. out. Yes. Now, what is this a sign of? 866-801-8255. People are going to Rio de Janeiro, to Dominican Republic, Mexico. People are doing this for years, getting the butt lift. And now they're reversing it and it's costing more than putting it in. Twenty-five caught you it can cost up to twenty-five thousand dollars to remove the BBLs. And uh one doctor, uh Dr. Neenstein, he said these women can't walk down the street comfortably in their own skin while looking like a cartoon character. He said, I commonly have to shrink and tighten the buttock along with sculpting adjacent areas to give a more proportionate, elegant look, whatever that means. He's a little problematic doctor, whoever you are. Um, but typically this, this procedure, what do we make of this? And um, I'm going to juxtapose this to a story about Halle Berry. So I have some opinions. I want to know what y'all think. So Halle Berry took a picture of herself drinking uh, some wine. It was probably the bougie wine that you're drinking yeah, right now. What What is that again? Bougelet. Bougelet? Malbec. 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 So, so, so Halle Berry was on her balcony <laughs> drinking a, a, a nice glass of Malbec, minding her business naked. But you couldn't see anything because the okay. the bars were covering the, the the areas. But you could see that she was naked. And then somebody went on social media, a, a guy, and said, imagine being in your 50s, still posing nude for attention in menopause when you should be chilling with grandkids. Aging with dignity is no longer a thing. <sighs> mm. So what do you look like? Uh, exactly. Well, oh, yeah. yeah, he did. Yes. No, he did actually. But I'm, 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 I'm asking this question as as somebody. So I remember, you know, I'm, 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 let me just say this: I feel like people don't want to do the work on themselves, yeah, so it's sure. a lot easier to cast aspersions because you'll never get Halle Berry or look like her, dude. Right? You'll never look like her. The work that she put in. This is a woman that has diabetes. I, I remember talking about a a uh, 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 MMA show that she uh, a movie that she did during the pandemic, where she, she, her workout was ridiculous. Right, I think about Angela Bassett, the workout she did to look like Tina Turner and still keeps it tight. I think about the work that people put in, whether we're talking about the the Creed brothers, you know, Jonathan Majors and and Michael B. Jordan to keep their body and the hate that they get. And I think the hate they get is because people are jealous and they don't want to do the work. So it's easy to tear down people when you're not willing to do the work. I remember being younger, wanting to have a body like Janet Jackson. But then I realized what I had to do. I made a decision. <laughs> I, I'm not going to look like Janet Jackson ever. And I got to be OK with me because I'm not willing to do the work. I'm not willing to do the work. So I made that decision, but I still appreciate the work that she put in and you could admire it. I appreciate what well, Halle Berry, I think the commentary is more about people's lack of work oh, on themselves than it is about trolling. And, and I'm going to say this, y'all can at me 866-801-8255. The reason why so many of you love Lizzo she makes you feel comfortable. You feel good. It's why you like hoarders. It's why you love the 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 six hundred. Why they listen to sisters. Kevin Samuels? Yeah, you like these people because you don't. They don't require anything. You can. Well, at least I'm not that. At yeah. least I'm not a hoarder. At least I'm not six hundred pounds. We and it speaks to us because these are highly rated people and things and shows. Because I feel like we collectively people. Mm -hmm. rather you know not have to do any work what y'all yeah. think i um i would say this is i always say that this keep in front uh, of the mic please both of you two, two I, things two enough. things Thank that you. i've um that two one of the greatest things and the scariest things that I, I i realized in my life was that i could pretty much do just about anything that i wanted to do and what that does is it it it, it says wow my the scope of what i want to do is endless and it also means whatever I don't have is my fault. Like, I can't blame it on nobody else. So if I don't have something, it's my fault. And if I do have it, I, I, it's great that I, I, I know that I'm capable of that. And I think that that people don't want to be in that situation where they got to take a real good look at themselves. 
and 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 deal with the fact that they might they are not willing to make the sacrifice, but they still want to be in a conversation where they could get pity and 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 complain about other things. Because if you didn't do it, you don't get to complain about what your situation is. So. Well, I'm going to say that one, Holly Berry's always looked like that. And plus she got the money to look like that. Everybody we were comparing and saying something to about is rich and they can look like that. They have trains and that's their job. Now, I feel like regular people, grandmas that look like this. Look at that. Okay. Who? Oh, okay. She's holding up a picture. It's radio, people, though. Yeah. No one can Everybody, see about me and Dante. Yeah. Oh, but who's the... Everybody in that picture is 55 and up. Yeah. And that's okay. what the new grandmas look like in terms of just taking care of yourself. It's a new day and age. Food is different. So I feel like if you can take care of yourself and be a regular person, you ain't got to be Holly Berry to have that body. I almost got that body. I don't yeah, have you do. <laughs> yeah, you know, and and you I know, know Jada Pink, I always say I'm going to get my Jada Pink and mama on because she's 60 exactly. something, so right? And looks amazing. Be flat, bust into a full split, back and forth on the stage. Oh, for, ways. Two That's ways okay. split and came back with it and popped it, popped it, <laughs> popped on the Thank floor. You. That's it. what grandma's is doing at 54 yeah. and up. It's a new okay. day. <laughs> All right. Not every grandma should be doing it, though. And I've once You're said right. on these airwaves that I miss the fluffy cheek grandma. I miss her. Because my grandmother, I could sit in her lap and her cheeks were fluffy. She wore glasses. Her hair was gray. And she, I don't even think she made it to 60. She looked like that in her 50s. And I remember her, though, being soft and fluffy and grandma-like and made some sweet tea and macaroni. She was amazing. Um, that grandma doesn't exist anymore because nobody wants to be that. So there's a part of me that's like, I understand what this hater is saying. Because there is not a move to being a grandmother you know, like that kind of grandmother with the mm. fluffy arms making the biscuits. You know mm. what I'm saying? But maybe we shouldn't have that kind of grandmother. To your point, I'm before fortunate I- to have a grandmother that's in her 90s. But most okay. people my age, they don't have grandparents. Like they are the grandparents. So it's just the day and age that we live in in terms of grandparents are younger, parents are younger. The generation is younger and you got grandmoms that's in their 40s. It's crazy. But I have a friend, she's 47 and she's a grandmom. And I'm like, wow, that makes that's like mortality for me. It makes me realize that I could be a grandmother at 54 years old. But it's a different 54 than in 1962, 54 and 1972, 54. It's a different day and age because people are really taking care of themselves better. Is it? Is it that or do people not? 866-801-8255. I, yes, I think I don't even right. know people are living long anymore, Karen. A lot of people don't even live to be in their 80s and you know, only the people in politics. But most, right. a lot of average people aren't living long. 